Hello guys! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey! Oh! Let's go! Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel and the first official Vlogmas on Mark Ferris's channel. Thanks for joining. How am I feeling? I don't know. This year I just really wanted to do Vlogmas because um, obviously Zoe, the queen of Vlogmas, isn't doing it this year because her and Alfie are expecting baby number two. Very exciting. So she's obviously going to be preoccupied. So I took the baton off her. No, actually, she gave it to me, put it in my hand, broke my fingers, put it in my hand. It was like, Mark, you've got to do Vlogmas this year. And I was like, do you know what? I feel like this year would be really perfect for me to do Vlogmas. Um, keep me distracted, keep me um, productive, and yeah, just have a good old time. And I do obviously love Christmas. It's one of my favorite times of year. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. So my flat right now, I've got a new tripod. I'm gonna be a professional this year. Not, I've already poked myself in the eye, which obviously is not a great start. Um, so yeah, I was just putting like eyelash serum in to grow my eyelashes and yeah I just stabbed myself in the eye. I have so much planned for the next 24 days. Um, I'm super excited to spend so much time with you and it'd be nice because I feel like, I don't know, like so many of my videos recently are like us like going to all these amazing places and like trying foods and everything so I feel like it we, we'll be going back to basics. La la la. So this is the one my mum bought me. So this is Nomo, no missing out. It's dairy, gluten, egg and nut. <laughs> Um, free, but I still love my advent calendar at my big old age. How's everyone doing? Everyone excited? And then we got a little, what's this? Pran, Pranka, Pranka. What's Pranka? Oh my god, it smells, oh my god, this brings back so many memories. I've just brushed my teeth as well. Do you guys shut the door or do you keep it open? I'll rip mine off in there. So how am I feeling? I'm feeling excited and <laughs> I'm ready to party. There's so much going on. There's boxes everywhere. Um, I want to do some giveaways this month. I'm super blessed that, um, I need to change those flowers. Oh my God. I'm super blessed that um, PR companies send um, products to me to try um, or like top ups and which is the best thing in the world and they know how appreciative I am of it and um, sometimes I can't get through everything and the things I don't I obviously pass on to charity or my parents or my family or friends but this year I really wanted to focus on giving back to you guys because I wouldn't be sent anything if you didn't follow me and follow my journey and watch my videos so yeah keep an eye out for like um, Giveaways, I want to give away something in this video as like a thanks for watching. Um, so I'm going to be giving away the Magic Cream Heroes. So this is the body cream and the magic cream from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the massive tub. And then two airbrush uh, setting sprays and like a little mini of the um, magic cream and the glow serum. All you have to do is go onto my recent photo on Instagram, um, give me a follow, give um, my recent photo, I think it's me, of, me and Zoe, yeah, because this is going up tomorrow. Give that a like and comment saying, hey Mark, Merry Vlogmas, I would like Charlotte Tilbury. And um, I'll pick someone at random, I'll message you, I'll get you um, your address and I'll send it out. You know, when we went to Aberdeen, and we did the sleeper train, and I stayed in Mary Kuta, Kulta, Mary Kuta house, and it had like, the I fell in love with it, and it was incredible. And I looked out the, the window, and it was like the river, and it was just stunning. Well, oh my God, they messaged me, and wanted to send me a little thank you. They sent me their official um, advent calendar, which is, and this is the hotel. Oh, I wanna go back there to Mark, a little something to enjoy as you count down to Christmas. It was great to welcome you here earlier this year and we all look forward to your next visit. Oh, that is just the sweetest thing. Usually every year we have a Christmas tree here. I think we're gonna start off by putting the snowy Christmas tree here. So I usually have three Christmas trees, two in here and then one in like the movie room, which I think is just perfect. I actually got sent Oh, I got sent a Christmas tree by Balsam Hill um, and Decorations, 
which is, where did I, oh, I haven't got the decorations from my car, oh no. I had to go to B&Q and buy this Stanley knife and um, because I was making something for someone and I needed to cut out some stuff and I got ID'd. <laughs> he kept looking at me and I was like, yeah, you want to ID me, didn't you? And he was just like, yeah, you just, you look under 25. And I was like, I'm sorry, say that again. Let me record you saying that. So I honestly don't know where the bottom bits are for this tree, but I'm gonna use this, which I think is from like my big animatronic wizard. So. Oh no. I don't know where the bottom is. Oh, great start. Is it in here? Please say it's in here. Oh no. There's a lot going on down here. I could have sworn I saw it in here. Hopefully. It's in one of these. In here. Oi, oi! Hey, 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 hey. My lips are quite dry. Guys, I need to tell you about this podcast I listen to that I have definitely spoken to you about before. It's called Nothing Much Happens. And when I tell you, nothing much happens in the story, but everything happens in the dreams I have. I must have had about a million dreams last night. I went to a random event with Saffron Barker in Clapham Grand. I was wearing a ball gown, and then we went into the gift shop, and I haven't spoken to Saffron Barker in maybe like a year. I don't know why I'm dreaming about her. Um, and then what else happened? There was like people from Maths, uh, Married at First UK, and then like there was like a wrestling match going on, and then I bumped into someone that I went to school with, and then she wouldn't stop smelling me. It was so, so crazy. So if you ever want really weird dreams, every single time I listen to this podcast, I have the weirdest dreams. So it's called Nothing Much Happens. Right, so this is for my witch and wizard <laughs> for Halloween. Oh, perfect. Pop that on in this little hole, wherever that is. Where is the hole? Oh, there. So what should you say? Oi, oi. I'm just gonna fluff it out. It looks a little sad. Let's turn it on because we wanna see what it's like. Three, two, one. Oh, only the bottom half is lit. Oh, here we go. Three. Two, one, yay! Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let the new tide From now on, now la 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 Yeah, I mean, it looks so much better in real life, guys. And just to, it's just a little statement piece, a tiny little thing just to put there. I'm gonna leave some of the snow around it and then just hoover up the rest. So this is the Christmas tree I got sent very kindly by this brand, Balsam Hill. And it is a six foot LED clear European, European silver fir. I've never had a silver fir tree before. So I'm super excited to see what this looks like. And I'm gonna put it here. Gonna get rid of that plant and put that outside, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's like, it's like classy silver. I mean, wow, it's just, it's like a little bit silverish. Like it's got a dusting of snow on it. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like silver silver. Oh, I love it though. Let's move this over here for a sec. Okay, so section one, section two. It is a stunning tree and this is like perfect boyfriend height for me. You ready guys? Oh, it's a gorgeous tree, it looks so real. Three, two, one, boom! <laughs> Yay! Oh my God, guys. Doesn't that look so nice? Oh, no, I'm actually gonna cry, because that looks amazing. I really fancy some noodles. Right, so I'm gonna bring in my pot, however long. Here? I feel like that would be alright, wouldn't it? Just there. Alexa, stop, please. I mean, it's a bit crowded, but I think just for now, just for now, oh, I don't know. It looks a lot. 
Okay guys, I've moved it into here. Oh, I don't know where to put it. <laughs> I don't know where to put it, please help. Okay guys, oh my god. So I went down to my car to get the ball balls from Balsam, Bal Balsam Hill. And they sent me four, three, three boxes of, um, right, I'm just having another coffee one. I'll wait until that's done. Okay, honeys, let's have a little look. This is going to be the classiest I've ever been in my entire life. Like, I do not deserve this sort of stuff. Oh. <gasps> Woo! Oh my God, and the straight Jesus. Have yourself a merry bejazzled Christmas. Stop it. Balsam, thank you so much for this. It's just absolutely Stunning. Guys, you shouldn't have sent me this. This is too much. Oh my god. Is there another Santa in here? It's got like, can you see that? It's got like, it's got furry hair. Oh, I think I just swallowed some glitter. <coughs> can you see? Oh my god, let's get cracking on this. Be careful, Mark. They're delicate. <music> Guys, are you ready? One of the most beautifully decorated trees I've ever done. Oh my god, just look at the baubles. Look at that one. <gasps> this is not very mark friendly, but I'll take it. Look at these. I am so grateful. I just can't get over this. I've got a few friends coming over in a couple of weeks. I'm going to put a bloody stair gate round it. Honestly, thank you so much, Balsam. <laughs> right, time to put up the third and final tree, and then it's all going to be about um, the knickknacks, I think. Now, this one is going to be very, very special. Every year when I was younger, um, at my aunt's house, I she didn't care about the tree. She always gave me like these little tins of like really vintage um, Christmas decorations, and over the years, um, they got lost or broken or thrown away or whatever. And the tree in her living room would be up and all the decorations would be there and she just let me run wild on the tree. And then I always made a big show about bringing them in and being like, ta-da, oh my God, look how amusing. And obviously it was tacky as hell, but that is me, I am tacky. I really wanted to carry on the tradition this year and managed to find all the decorations that I used to put up um, on her tree. So we're gonna do that now. Um, I'm so excited to go through the decorations because I've had a little glimpse. I obviously knew what I ordered, but I, owed, I bought a batch. So this is gonna be the first time in a couple of months because I bought these back in bloody August, I think. Has it always been this sparse? And I've ordered like Turkish food from Sofra Grill. Has anyone ever eaten from there before? It's really nice. But guys, has it always been this sparse? But this is my tacky tree anyway, so I don't mind, but do you know what I mean? If I'm watching it from the tea, oh, I don't know. Oh, like the top's amazing, but as you slowly get down, has it always been like that? Okay, it looks a little bit better, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, so I have the decorations that I'm gonna go through with you now. Okay, so they arrived in these like really vintage boxes as well. And this one I haven't opened. Um, I, because I ordered these so long ago, I can't actually remember. Oh my God, these ones. Guys, do you remember these? If you're a 90s baby. Oh my God, look at these. Oh, I remember when we used to go to like the pubs on like Christmas Eve or any time in the December. And it would always be like these sort of metallic papery foil decorations. And they just bring me the most joy. And look. Oh my God. So yeah, this is this treat is going to be dedicated to my aunt because um, she used to let me go wild on her tree every year. Look at this! Oh my god! I just feel like these are proper traditional Christmas colours. I don't know why. This is what Christmas is. Like these little birds. Did it? Was it just my family who used to have all these little things? Surely not, because I bought them from someone else. But like these little proper retro um, decorations. I think like these, um, the bells and like the string one, the string ones obviously. 
Oh my god. These are like woolly special. Ah! Oh my god, I don't know what this is, but I love it. I think that's like a little... I don't know what this is, but I love it. It's Santa, obviously, but I don't know where you're supposed to put him. Put, like, on the, t on the top? I don't know. Oh, I just love these foil things. I'm going to put the, the lights on first because maybe I should have put the lights on before I put it up there. All right, what else we got in here? This is going to be the most magical treat in the world. <gasps> oh my god. Do you remember these? Oh, the I don't even want to take this out of the packaging. Guys, who else had these? The little tambourines. Oh my gosh. Oh, shit. Can you see all these? Oh my god, I remember these so much. Right, I'm going to have to go get my lunch, but I'll be back in two seconds. I feel like the delivery driver loved my t-shirt. So yeah, this is from Sofra Grill. S O. S O F R A. A little salad in there. This is the spicy sausage, which I absolutely love. Love a sausage. White bait. I wouldn't. So, so much food. And then in here is the big boy. This is the chicken. Mix grill. So yeah, I'm going to eat this now. And we can resume to the. Christmas decorations. I bought these um, oh, these window sticker things that are supposed to give off like like little things. Oh, it's not that bright actually. If I put that right there, it's working a little bit. I guess we'll see. I just love the reflection of so many things. Just think it makes it so pretty. Okay, I get distracted so easily. Loved Vintage by Carol on Etsy. What is this? Okay, we've never had these. Oh my God, we did have these. Oh my God, we did. Can you see them? Oh my God, they are so nice. Ooh. Okay, this is very vintage. Right, let's get cracking. Ooh, oh my god! Oh, I just stepped on. So this is what I like to call the no judgement zone. Okay, we get it. I'm not a classy mood. This is gonna be exactly like I how, I how I used to decorate it at my aunt's house. Um, it's not gonna make sense, it doesn't matter. We don't judge on this channel. If we feel like we wanna put something somewhere, we're just gonna put it there. It's all done, guys. I'm super happy with it. I feel like my auntie would be very proud of how it looks. <laughs> A chaotic mess, I think. Um, but no, I'm really happy with how it turned out. This, all these decorations honestly bring so, bring back so many like memories. Like, I don't know why, like the little tiny parcels, but I'm going to show it to you now and I hope you like it. happy with it guys I think it looks amazing obviously just got a little bit upset but I yeah I think it looks great honestly um oh god I said I wasn't gonna do this but I've got to keep it real like this is it's gonna be our first Christmas without her like I've got like I my main thing is just to be really like if I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do all of it um but yeah, no, I'm happy with how it turned out. I've still got like a million boxes of so many other things that I need to put around. So I'm going to do that, get myself together. Oh, Vlogmas day one. Oh, here we go. So yeah, I've still got so many boxes to just like put like little bits around the house, like reefs and like stuff like that. So I'm going to do that now and I will show you the finished result. Oh my God. I've got another tree in here. I feel like I'm going to put this around. 
Oh, I've got a table runner that I need to change because the one I have now is Halloween-y. So amazing. So I can change that for my dining room table. And then, what is this? This can go around the TV, I think. Okay, guys, so, um, trees up, and then I put this sort of garnish around the TV. Um, I feel like it just looked better at night. I feel like that's quite messy. I might have to sort that out. Sort that out. <laughs> sort that out. So, yeah, I feel like that looks cool. And then you come over here, and Santa is in the corner. Just cover up, go face. <laughs> Um, yeah, cute, love that. Then here, just on my little um, shoe rack thing, I just thought, this is a little pre-lit tree. Oh yeah, love that. I love how I've still got my Barbie lights in. <laughs> um, and then I've, and then I've got one here. I need to sort all, all this out, by the way. <laughs> so my uncle owned a pub, and my auntie owned a calf, and they always used to put like the tinsel around the frames and everything, and I just think it looks really like 90s vibe. And I did this last year, and I really liked how it looked. Can you see them? I've put them everywhere, hopefully getting a good light. Oh, I love it. Look at all the... The light's shining. Like when people are like, oh, that is so 2021, or 2020 for putting like, light glaring stickers on a wall but i'm like no just shut up do what you want i think there is so much um intentional or unintentional peer pressure going along going around especially on like social media and i say um have the courage to do your own thing like trends are fun of course they are they're exciting they're new and they're interesting and whatever but i advise you not to follow the trends if you don't want to, look at me, I'm so quirky. I am a pick me. <laughs> it is, just have the courage to not follow the trends and just do what you want. Like, yeah, these may not make people happy, but look, this is shining off the ceiling. Do what you want, ignore everyone, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change the table runner, do last little bits, and then I think I'm gonna wait for it, wait for it to be dark, and then it's the tour. Oh, look at that golden air. Turn this off. Oh, it just honestly does not do the ju the flat justice in this golden hour. Oh, this corner. Can't get enough of it. Anyway, guys, enjoy the flat tour. I love you guys so much. I'm so excited to spend the next few weeks with you, and I will see you tomorrow. Feels so weird saying that. Bye.